Hello, today I will share some important information about paper writing. How can you write a good technical paper? Generally, there are two types of researchers. One who is doing research because he has actual interest in the field of science. He really want to know the answer of certain problems in the field of science and technology. But nowadays, because unemployment is a very big problem, so lot of students, lots of students are moving towards higher degree program or doctoral degree program due to due to their educational needs due to their degree needs in terms of getting a job so my dear friends first of all i want to say that i want to share that if you do not have real interest in science in technology then it will not be easy for you to do research in a proper manner so if it was not your intention to find out the answer of real world problem and you are enrolled in phd mphil or in any related program please be focus or develop your interest towards science towards fundamental problems of nature so first of all i will share some important points about the good paper writing so the very first point is start reading paper from good journals what is the meaning of good journals if you will google about journals you will find lot of journals lot of free journals international journal blah 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 there are so many journals so how can you select good journal so my dear friends there are so many reputed publishers like ville Oxford, Elsevier, Springer, Nature, etc. So you can refer articles from these journals. So please do not read article from low quality journal because if you will read article from these low quality paid journals, then you will. get wrong ideas about your field or the area in which you want to excel so it was all about the selection of good journals once you have selected the journal then the second important point is in the initial phase of research everyone wants to find out the shortcut for having publication in good journals or some kind of students generally do not want to do experimental work they just want to create a theoretical model in order to complete their degree program but my dear friends it is not possible to complete a thesis in proper manner without experimental work no reputed journal will accept your article without experimental work if you are writing a review paper then it's a different matter but in review paper also you have to mention various 
ideas related to that particular field or that particular topic or you have to suggest different different proposed solutions regarding the future so do not do not try to escape from experimental analysis or from experimental world so the second important point is try to develop your experimental setup so as far as computer science is concerned if you are working in the field of data science or if you are working in the field of antivirus design or if you are working in the field of intrusion detection then firstly try to figure out important algorithms in that field suppose you found that there are 10 important algorithms select some algorithms of recent interest and try to implement those algorithms in most of the cases students of average category finds it difficult to implement recent algorithms so try to find out recent languages like python r or tools like MATLAB where you may find some standard libraries to implement these recent algorithms. So if you will Google, definitely you will find out the code of conventional algorithms. Try to understand that code and try to modify it according to your need. You will not get outcome within a day within a week or within a month if you really want to excel in the field of research then you have to give sincere effort and time then only you can get success because research requires time the third important point is once you have come completed your experimental analysis then try to focus on the language of good journal paper suppose you want to publish paper in Elsevier then after selecting the journal read some papers of that particular journal try to understand what kind of sections are there what type of language is required what kind of formatting is being used by previous authors try to adopt all those things do not create your own thought process to execute the paper writing task now the next important point is the structure of paper it contains title title is very important if you really want citations for your paper so the title of your paper must be very attractive second point is abstract it contains the basic theme of your paper next point is keywords keywords reflects the important important words that are being frequently used in your paper or those words which reflects the theme of your work next point is introduction introduction reflects the current happening or 
some important literature part of that field now the next part is related work related work contains the summarized analysis of recent literature in that particular field next point is system model and problem statement system model and problem statement defines the hypothesis that is being designed by you now the next phase is methods and solutions methods and solutions defines the proposed solution for executing the main tasks of the paper now you will prove the effectiveness of your task with the help of simulation tools or with the help of other kind of experimental analysis last part is last part contains conclusion conclusion contains the overall summarized analysis of paper with some points related to future acknowledgement section contains the vote of thanks to all who supported you directly or indirectly in your work references denotes the denotes uh, the uh, summarized version of all papers that are being used in your research work now dear friends the most important point is if you have real interest then only you can progress in the field of research if you are doing phd from some premier institutes still if you do not have interest then after writing two or three papers you will stop after receiving your mphil or phd degree so keep on writing the paper create your interest towards fundamental problems the and there is no shortcut of success you have to give time but believe now it is with the help of youtube with the help of quora with the help of stack overflow and with the help of github you may find lot of codes you may find lot of help and with this help and with this kind of support and with with this kind of online guidance definitely you may develop your code and you may develop your experimental setup and the last important point do not try to find out journals in the beginning of your research generally i saw that students try to find out some journals where they can have easy publication of their articles remember good journal requires time they will take 6 to 12 month to review your article so it's not journal selection is not important what is important your work and the last point is avoid plagiarism do not copy others work it will harm your reputation as well as you may not publish article in any good conference or journal so whatever you are reading from good articles try to write it in your own language and especially in experiments try to focus on small things you cannot bring big change in a very small time remember this point so if you are making an experimental analysis so you may not do an extraordinary experiment in few minutes 
in few days or in few months it will require time suppose you want to design and classification algorithm or you want to do a classification task so firstly select some basic classification algorithm like artificial neural network so try to implement firstly artificial neural network you will find lot of tools related to this algorithm then once you got complete knowledge of this algorithm then find out what are the possible variants of this algorithm in this way you can proceed i hope that this information will be helpful to you if you have any questions please write in comment section so that i will design one new video for answering all those questions okay my dear friends thank you very much